particular with the specific issues that have been elicited from our meeting to make sure that our school runs. Last year, 72 students from the school were admitted at the Kakamega County General Teaching and Referral Hospital with vomiting, diarrhea and dizziness with health officials suspecting a cholera outbreak. But the county public health officials ruled out cholera after tests revealed a possibility of food poisoning. Kakamega Senator Bonnie Halwale, who also toured the school, blamed the administration for failing to implement the findings of the previous report. I am here with Directorate of Quality Assurance. They investigated the issue last year, made findings, made recommendations, but those findings were not acted upon, and this is why this has recurred. In short, I'm saying it is failure of the administration. We have established that the water that is consumed by our children in this school comes from Lake Victoria North Water Company, but it's not always enough. So the school supplements this water by pumping water from a water source, a spring or something outside the compound. That water that comes from that spring is contaminated. They also have a bowl, a borehole outside the compound. Children go to collect that water using containers. Again, containers that are not hygienic has contributed to the problem. Halwale also asked stakeholders at the school to be patient and await for the report on the investigation. We have requested the teacher service commission as they leave this compound, they go with her so that the school is left in the hands of other professionals. What they do with her, it is their business. The store manager or storekeeper also leaves with her. The store's valence leaves with her. And then the cereals, which has been preserved badly using that chemical called Nova, should be destroyed publicly so that it doesn't sneak into the hands of the unsuspecting public and it is sold. Kakamega Women Representative Elsie Muhanda called for a task force to be formed to investigate the matter. Kama committee yenye iko hapa, tumeka, tuko na mwishimua Senator Boni Khalwale na viongozi mbalimbali, na tumeka na tumejadiliana, na tumesema ya kwamba mara moja hii shule ifunge. Kwa mana sasa hivi, watu Toto tayari 559 hawako shule wamechukuliwa na wazazi na wengine 1500 wako hapa na situation sio ya kawaida ndio tunasema ya kwamba task force ifomiwe mara moja a special task force kuangalia zile shida zenye ziko kwa hii shule lakini mara moja watoto wote wachukuliwe na wazazi waende nyumbani reporting for hot 96 my name is dama mothui now move on to other news where President William Ruto has urged judiciaries across Africa to commit to, the, to ensuring the environmental justice is achieved and also to support their efforts to combat climate change. Speaking as he officially opened the third Greening Judiciary Symposium at the Safari Park Hotel here in Nairobi, Ruto said the judiciary must also be firm in dealing with offenders who pollute the environment. Our judiciaries have come of age. We cannot take this development for granted because our judiciaries will determine whether Africa's institutions exist and are ready to handle the immense mandate that a green future entails for all of us and for the world. Claims, disputes, standards, rights and responsibilities related to the use of land and natural resources, the institutional framework for financing climate change, carbon trading and exchanges, and transition transition management frameworks are only some of the areas in which our judiciaries are going to be involved. They must, therefore, pronounce themselves in a manner consistent with the values and aspirations of a continent on the rise. Ruto also pledged that African countries will negotiate for equal share of international resources to deal with climate change and will not just be observers since the continent is one of those greatly affected by climate change. We will be coming to the table with our natural and mineral resources that can be used for green technology to power the world's future. We will be coming to the table with a huge 3 billion African market. So we will be coming with assets. And I think, good people, we must make our case unapologetically so that we can occupy our place on the table. Because I am told, if you are not on the table, you possibly could be in the menu. The commitment by the people of Kenya goes further and deeper. When to other news now, uh, as far as uh, the cancelling of the pro- uh, Monday protest is concerned, 
And Director of Public Prosecutions, uh, Nurdin Haji, has withdrawn uh, all the cases of those arrested during uh, the anti-government protests uh, organized by Azimio leader Raila Odinga. The cases involve those against Azimio members of parliament and also those that are currently uh, pending at the Kahawa Law Courts and promised to withdraw over 200 other cases countrywide against Azimio Law Mojo supporters arrested during the protest. This has been confirmed by lawyer Dunstan. Omari. President William Ruto has today met with the leadership of both the National Assembly and the Senate at State House Nairobi to develop a framework for the bipartisan approach to the issues raised by the opposition. President Ruto expressed confidence that the issues raised will be conclusively handled by Parliament and allow the government to focus on its economic transformation program for the country. Among the leaders present included National Assembly uh, Majority Leader Kimani Shungwe, Senate Counterpart Aaron Cheriot, and National Assembly Chief Whip Silvana Sosoro. This comes a day after Ruto asked that new leader Raila Odinga to call off the bi-weekly anti-government protests and give way for a bipartisan a parliamentary process in the recruitment of commissioners to IBC. Minor Deputy President Jigadi Gashagwa has urged Kenyans to resume their businesses after the anti-government protests were called off by position leader Raila Odinga last evening. Taking to social media early today, the DP affirmed that he will ensure security officers remain on high alert to apprehend any persons who might still take to the streets to loot and vandalize public property. The second in command also stated that he will ensure those who have played part in looting and vandalizing property in past demonstrations are brought to book. He also commended citizens for their zeal and avidity to report to their respective workplaces, a virtue says he observed during his now recurring early reporting hours to work. These are the Dada Member of Parliament Farah Malim opined that the unforeseen truce between President Ruto and Opposition Leader Raila Odinga yesterday was occasioned by U.S. Top Emissary Senator Chris Coons. This after Senator Coons visited the nation with a congressional delegation of U.S. Senate and House of Representatives on the 29th of last month where he held meetings with Deputy President Rigadi Gashagwa and Raila. During the meetings, they discussed matters of mutual interest such as trade, security and democracy. Speaking on Citizen TV's Daybreak show early today, Malim noted that Senator Coons played a pivotal role in fusing the two leaders and advised them to forego the political wrangles. The biggest game changer here is not the church, not the religious sector, not the political class. The biggest game changer here is the American senator who came, Chris Coon, who went and talked to everybody and told them to stand down. This has been, some of us have been around this for, for the longest. Governor Fernandez says Raila is only seeking for justice and not a handshake as claimed by some Kenya Kwanzaa leaders. Raila is not bothered about joining the government. Yeya Metosheka, what he wants is justice. Let us have unconditional negotiation between Raila Molodinga, Narais Wetu, Abain William, Samoe Ruto, Bila, Deputy President, Kuahapo Katika Bafu, Yeye, Yonadeta Wasama, Yeye, Denapatia Conditions, which makes the country to be polarized. Na kama viongozi, we need to speak with a lot of surprise. Kwa sababu, mamba ambayo tunongea kama viongozi, ni mamba ambayo ineza leta Wasama, and then polarize the nation. He has also acted accused the police of using excessive force on protesters while dismissing Gashago's call for Raila to retire from active politics. And on the side of dialogue, I've stated my position, ni vizuri viongozi waonge without condition ya kusema ya kwamba Raila must retire from politics. On the other hand, residents of Wasingishu have applauded the move for dialogue between Ruto and Raila, saying it will yield fruit and enable the country to move forward as the government will be able to deliver its promises to Kenyans. Raila amefanya kitu ya maana sana ukolo of maandamano wakae chini na rais wetu ni mambo ya maandamano ishe ina affect biashara ya watu. Hilo jambo mimi alikuwa nalifurahisha. Enchi ilikuwa inaenda hasara, na biashara walikuwa naenda hasara. Tuombe wakae chini, wasikizane, Mungu waongoze na waangalie in Meru County, the residents now want the government to focus on lowering the cost of living and provide a lasting solution to ensure unity. However, 
Muslims in Nandi County have castigated Raila for calling off the bi-weekly anti-government protests with condition, saying this will reignite the protest if a solution in the talks with President William Ruto do not yield fruits. Nandi lead Imam Abu Bakar Zadala has asked Raila to explore all possible avenues to resolve his issues and not depend on the talks with President Ruto so that the protests don't recur and affect the holy month of Ramadan. Hakuna jambo zuri kama watu kukaa chini kuzungumza. Sisi Waislamu kwenye Qur'an Mwenyezi Mungu anatuambia alimwambia Mtume Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam washawiruhum fil amri huyu ni mtume wa Mungu. Taraka residents seem to support Raila Odinga and want him to be the front runner in taking responsibility responsibility as the leader of the opposition meanwhile AC Kapsuar priest in Elgeyo Market County Robert Chesorom says they do not support the handshake as it will destroy the development of the country and bring chaos in the country's leadership he has asked the members of parliament to design the office of the opposition leader to end differences in leadership mambo ya anti tuliona asara yake tuliona asara wakati wa nusu mkate kama mnakumbuka wakati wa nusu mkia kanjiani tumeona juicy anshek bila ambavyo david president hakuwa anafanya kazi na hii inaleta shida kwa kenya reporting for hot 96 my name is chelagat rono for real time updates follow us on twitter hot_96kenya